ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय I offer my humble obeisance unto the supreme personality of Godhead Vasudeva Narayanam namaskrityam naram chaiva naruttamam devim saraswatim vyasam tato chayam mudirahe before reciting Srimad Bhagavatam which is the very means of conquest one should offer respectful obeisance unto the supreme personality of Godhead Narayana and to Nandarayan Rishi, the supermost human being, and to Mother Saraswati, the goddess of learning, and unto Shlavyasadev, the author of Sriman Bhagavatam. Nashtapraishu Abhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhaktir Bhavati Naishtiki. By regular attendance in the classes on Srimad Bhagavatam and by rendering service unto the pure devotee. All that is troublesome to the heart is almost completely destroyed and loving service unto the personality of Godhead who is praised with transcendental songs is established as an irrevocable fact. Gurave Gaur Chandraya Radhikaya Tadalaya Krishnaya Krishna Bhaktaya Tad Bhaktaya Namo Namaha Hare Krishna, dear Vaishnavas, thank you so much for joining. We are reading Granthraj Srimad Bhagavatam Canto 7, Chapter 7 What Prahlad Learned in the Womb So we read till text number 15 yesterday and we were discussing that how uh, the demigods circumambulated Prahlad who was in the womb of the mother and then they left uh, and then the mother offered great service to Narad Muni who brought him the, the ashram and then uh, spoke about the Krishna consciousness so he gave the instructions on topmost dharma Bhagavad dharma not Kaitaba dharma he gave not so called religion but the true religion is Bhagavad dharma so let's continue with our discussion to the text 16 Tattu, Tattu Kalasya Dirgatvat Stitvan Matus Tiro Dade Rishinanu Grihitamam Nadu Napi Ajahat Smriti Because of the long duration of time that has passed and because of her being a woman and therefore less intelligent, my mother has forgotten all those instructions. But the great sage Narada blessed me and therefore I could not forget them. Purport. In the Bhagavad Gita 9.2 32, the Lord says, Mamhi Partha Vyapa Sritya Yepi Siu Papa Kapa Yonaya Striya Vishya Statash Shudras Tepi Yanti Parangatim. O son of Prita, those who take shelter in me, though they may Though they be low-born women, vaishas, merchants, or shudras, workers, can approach the supreme destination. The word Papa Yoni, Papa Yoni refers to those who are less than shudras. But even though a woman may not be Papa Yoni because of being less intelligent, she sometimes forgets devotional instructions. For those who are strong enough, however, there is no question of forgetting. Women in general are attached to material enjoyment, and because of this tendency, they sometimes forget devotional instructions. But if, even if a woman practices devotional service strictly, according to the rules and regulation, the statement by the Lord Himself that she can 
she can return to Godhead. Tepi yanti paramgatim is not at all astonishing. One must take shelter of the Lord and rigidly follow the rules and regulations. Then, regardless of what one is, one will return home back to God. Prahlad Maharaj's mother was more concerned with protecting the child in the womb and was very anxious to see her husband return. Therefore, she could not consider very seriously the sublime instruction of Nada Damuni. Srila <clears throat> Prabhupada Ki Jai. Hare Krishna. Devotees, thank you again. This is a, a controversial topic, you can say. But Srila uh, <clears throat> Prabhupada made it, made it a very simple topic that uh, anyone and everyone can. Uh, Worship the Supreme Lord and service serve Him and and join the Hare Krishna movement and thus become elevated to the supreme position of being a devotee of the Lord. Whether one is uh, born in a in a low family, so in, in the 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 relevance to today's age is that not only Women uh, so are so called as as in this verse less intelligent, but we all are. We all are in uh, shudra and lecha or less than that. So <clears throat> this verse is not really uh, to be concerned about because you know or or this um, being less intelligent or being a woman or low class. Is is relevant to all of us. So, but what is the point here is that there is a transcendental activity. Transcendental activity is um, beyond um, cl- class and creed and race and gender. So that is what we're concerned about. Um, I don't see any difference today. Uh, everyone is basically, you see 99% of the people are materialistic. Here it is mentioned that uh, women are materialistic, <coughs> but in today's day and age, that is the entire population. So, what we can say is that there are very few fortunate men and women they are taken to devotional service and becoming uh, full of bliss in this uh, society of Hare Krishna movement. Thank you. Thank you so much, Prabhu. Anyone has any other comment, comments? Any questions before we move on? Okay, let's read the next verse. Those who didn't get chance to read yesterday, would like to read, please. Since it's a longer verse, we can you know, read some a, a section. Would someone like to start? Prabir Prabhu. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Thank you, Hare Krishna Prabhu. Hare Krishna Devotee is Dandot from Jai Shri Prabhupada. Text 17. Bhavatam api bhuyan me jodi sabdhate bacha vaisharadi thi sabdhata tri balanam chame jatha. Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedan Swami Shilu Joy Shilu Translation. Prahlad Maharaj continued, My dear friends, if you can place your faith in my words, simply by that faith, you can also understand transcendental knowledge, just like me, although you are small children. Similarly, a woman can also understand transcendental knowledge 
and know what is spirit and what is matter. Purpose. These words of Prahlad Maharaj are very important in regard to knowledge descending by the disciplic succession. Even when Prahlad Maharaj was a baby within the womb of his mother, he became fully convinced of the existence of the supreme power because of hearing the powerful instructions of Narada and understood how to attain perfection in life by Bhakti Yoga. These are the most important understanding in spiritual knowledge. Yashyadeva para bhakti jatha deva tatha guru yashyate kathita hiyartha prakashante mahatmano And to those great souls who have implicit faith in both the Lord and the spiritual master, all the imports of Vedic knowledge are automatically revealed. Shatashatara Upanishad 6.23 Atha Sri Krishna Namadi Nabhaved Graham India Shabon Mukhe Hijibadho Tayam Ebes Purati Adha No one can understand Krishna as he is by the blunt material senses. But he reveals himself to the devotees, being pleased with them for their transcendental loving service unto him. Bhakti Rasham with Shindu, 1.2.234 Bhakta mam vijanati javanjas charshmi tattata tato mam tattata gyatta vishade tat anantaram one can understand the Supreme Personality as He is only by devotional service. And, and when one is in full consciousness of the Supreme Lord by such devotion, He can enter into the Kingdom of God. Bhagavad Gita 1855 Program stopping here. Hare Krishna devotees. So here, as you can see, Prabhupada is nicely explaining here that we can, uh, as Prahlad Maharaj also instructing, that faith is the number one. We know that at Adho Sraddha Tato Bhajana Priya. Faith is first. We have to, Sraddha means with, with respect, with, we have to believe what the spiritual master is saying. And we, we know that in previous uh, verses we, we found out that spiritual master is the, uh, uh, he's like Jiva but he is the, uh, uh, he's representing Krishna. And he said, spiritual master is one who is giving us absolute truth, everything about Krishna, nothing besides Krishna. So here Prabhupada is explaining that we have to accept those knowledge uh, with faith. And, uh, and as Prahlad Maharaj, when he was in, in his mother's womb, he was fully convinced about the Supreme Personality of Godhead, about his position and his relationship with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And, and he understood that only way to attain that uh, supreme goal, that to attain uh, the uh, loving service by devotional service. Uh, and Prabhupada quoted uh, different verses. Uh, I wish to go back to you, please, Thank you, Prabhu. From Srimadas Prabhu, you want to complete the purport? Prabhuji, uh, I, I didn't follow. Is it from one can understand? 
Yeah, just a little, uh, the next one. These, okay. In this verse, uh, these are Vedic instructions. These are Vedic instructions. One must have full faith in the words of the spiritual master and similar faith in the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Then the real knowledge of Atma and Paramatma and the distinction between matter and spirit will be automatically revealed. This Atma Tattva or spiritual knowledge will be revealed within the core of devotee's heart because of his having taken shelter of the lotus feet of a Mahajana such as Prahlad Maharaja. In this verse, the word Bhuyat may be understood to mean let there be. Prahlad Maharaja offers his blessings to his class friend saying, also become faithful like me, become bona fide Vaishnavas. A devotee of the Lord desires for everyone to take to Krishna consciousness. Unfortunately, however, people sometimes do not have a staunch faith in the words of the spiritual master who comes by the disciplic succession and therefore they are unable to understand transcendental knowledge. The spiritual master must be in the line of authorized disciplic succession like Prahlad Maharaj who received the knowledge from Narada. If the class friends of Ma uh, Prahlad Maharaja, the sons of demons, were to accept the truth through Prahlad Maharaj, through Prahlad, they would certainly also become fully aware of transcendental knowledge. The word Vaisharadi Dhi refers to intelligence concerning the Supreme Personality of Godhead who is extremely expert. The Lord has created wonderful universes by his expert knowledge. Unless one is extremely expert, he cannot understand the expert management of the supreme expert. One can understand, however, if one is fortunate enough to meet a bona fide spiritual master coming in the disciplic succession from Lord Brahma, Lord Shiva, Mother Lakshmi, or the Kumaras. These four sampradayas or disciplic succession of knowledge and transcendence are called the Brahma Sampradaya, Rudra Sampradaya, Sri Sampradaya, and Kumara Sampradaya. Sampradaya Vahiniye Mantraste Nishvala Mata. The knowledge of the Supreme received from such a sampradaya or disciplic succession can give one enlightenment if one does not take to the path of disciplic succession. It is not possible for one to understand the Supreme Personality of Godhead. If one understands the Supreme Lord through de devotional service with faith in the disciplic succession and then advances further, he awakens his na natural love for God and then his success in life is assured. So this part of the purport is telling us about how important faith is that uh, we know um, the, the the first step in in the levels of bhakti uh, is shraddha. Um, after shraddha comes sadhu sangha. So if if one has a little bit of faith, then he can associate with devotees and his bhakti will increase. Um, so. We, we know all the different levels, Shraddha, Sadhu Sangha, Bhajana Kriya, uh, Anatta Nivarti, uh, Nishta, um, Ruchi, Ashakti, um, Bhava and Prema. So if out of these nine, if one is able to, first step, if one is able to get to faith, then slowly he can rise up to the, the highest level of uh, Krishna Prema and Prabhupada tells us how to get there is is to have faith in the words of a, uh, of a spiritual master coming in disciplic succession um, and the Prabhupada also tells us about the you know, the different sampradayas and uh, we our sampradaya or Prabhupada sampradaya is 
Brahma Madhva Gaudiya Sampradaya. So we can we are under the Brahma Sampradaya. So one of the four bona fide Vaishnava Sampradayas uh, is what um, uh, we are following. So the, uh, if we if we have faith in Prabhupada's words, we can we can get the the ultimate end goal. Um, yeah, so so we have this wonderful opportunity and uh, um, to to get there. And Prabhupada has also said, if if one has a little bit of faith, a person can win the whole world in 18 days. Uh, just like uh, in the Kurukshetra war, within 18 days, the whole world, the Pandavas, uh, were able to win because they had faith in Krishna's word. Uh, so uh, when we hear Prabhupada's word in this purport, it's actually Krishna's word because it comes all the way from Krishna. Thank you, Prabhuji. Please, if you'd like to add or correct. Hare Krishna, so um, I'd like to connect it to the um, our um, how our uh, the jiva has the you know the the elements and the the body uh, the body is made out of the elements basically a body made out of matter and there the, then there's the subtle uh, body which is mind intelligence and uh, ego false ego so <clears throat> basically to for us to to come to the level of the the mind is focused on uh, intelligence so what is intelligence intelligence is truly in its true sense intelligence is Krishna consciousness or that knowledge that is absolute if we focus our mind uh, to uh, true intelligence or absolute knowledge then our mind becomes uh, favorable and then that's the road to turn our false identity to true identity true identity as devotee of the world yeah. thank you it's so interesting that Prahlad Maharaj is speaking to other children and saying, although you are small children, <laughs> you know, generally like a adult would say these words to kids. Oh, you, right now you are small. If you do this, Talad Maharaj is there is not their parent or uncle. He's he's their schoolmate. He's of the same age, five, six, seven years old. So, but the real maturity is the spiritual maturity he is much advanced in spiritual enlightenment same as uh, the four kumaras they were externally like five-year-old you know clothless boys but they were not actually five-year-old they were spiritually very 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 advanced so the boys seem to be asking okay you learned from Narad Muni how will we find Narad Muni we don't have access to Narad Muni. How will we make spiritual progress? How will we follow all these things you are saying? That you must take shelter of bona fide spiritual master, etc. Prahlad Maharaj is saying, if you place faith in my words, by that faith you will understand spiritual knowledge. Shraddha Shabde Vishwas Kore Sudra Nishchai Krishna Bhakti Kaila Sarva Karma Krita Hoi If one has that firm faith that by rendering bhakti by rendering faith in the spiritual master, by serving Guru and Goranga, both together. It, it's Prabhupada is clearly mentioning here faith not just in, in uh, Krishna, but faith in the bona fide spiritual master because we don't have direct access to Krishna, we cannot directly access. So faith in the Guru, in the bona fide Guru, not any Tom, Dick, Harry, and faith in the words of the Supreme Lord, Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita, etc. Faith, faith in the process of bhakti because sometimes we may start the process of bhakti and, and and it's not that the result would come overnight so sometimes the destination could not be seen and we may still feel oh I still have so many anarthas I still have no taste for the chanting the holy name I still have a lot of 
challenges to overcome. Will I ever be able to do that? Uh, sometimes the mind may, you know, we may question ourselves. And then we may, if, if that is, those doubts are not properly addressed, then we may doubt the process of bhakti itself. We may doubt the holy name itself because uh, lack of faith leads to doubt. And then we may doubt the Guru itself. Even the Guru is bona fide. We may doubt Prabhupada. We may doubt Bhagavad Gita. We may doubt Krishna. We may doubt the deity. So doubts are like demons. So, so we must associate with those who have faith. We must hear in the association of those who have faith to nourish our faith. Even though the journey is long, uh, but if we continue with faith, if we continue, then we will certainly achieve the journey. We will achieve the destination. Yasyam Vaishruyamana Ayam Krishna Paramapurashya Bhakti Utpadya Tekum Sam Shoka Moha Bhayapya Satam Prasangi, yes, that's the verse I was looking for. Satam Prasangi Mama Virya Samvidu Grinanti Hit Karn Rasayana Kata Chad Joshanat Apavarga Vartamani Shraddha Ratir Bhaktir Anukramishyati. So the Shraddha, which we are talking in this verse, it increases. Anukramishyati, Rati and Bhakti. All three things increase in the association of devotees. So when we hear um, with those who have stronger faith, with those who are, who are more advanced, then our doubts will be destroyed and our faith will be nourished, the Bhakti Lata Beach. And those, those um, doubts will no more be doubts. So faith is very, very important. Even in sometimes, you see uh, people practice for 5 years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, and then they stop doing. One of the reasons is doubts. Is the process working? Is my Guru right? Is Prabhupada right? Is Prabhupada's books right? These are all lack of faith symptoms. Um, so we must nourish our faith continuously, not just in the beginning. Continuously. Any other comments or questions anyone has? Hi, and as Hi, Paul. Yes, no, 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 really quick. Uh, one, when Ravana was trying to build a staircase to heaven, it was uh, because he wanted to take a shortcut. He didn't want it to be qualified. Um, you know, make make the effort to go to heaven. Just. Uh, you know, uh, pious activities and uh, so many things. But he just wanted uh, easy access to heaven. And this is how people do sometimes, is that they want easy access to Krishna. And then they manufacture or concoct some stair, uh, this easy way out mentality. But the right process is to take shelter of bona fide uh, guru and then who has his own guru and uh, he's connected. Otherwise, this uh, cheap mentality, it will, it uh, doesn't lead anybody anywhere, but back to the uh, square where they started. Thank you, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, Mataji. Yes, Madhra Prabhu, you wanted to speak something? Okay, any other comments or questions before we move on? Yes, Prabhu. Can you hear me? Yes, please. Uh, Prabhu, these nine stages of uh, bhakti, right? So, I mean, should we aim it, or if we have good association and if we keep on continuing devotion service, we will get it automatically, or we should concentrate on this, like what exactly we should follow and. Uh, also, from one to nine stages, right? Like we will compare sometimes if we keep in mind. So we will get complete perfection, one to hundred percent, and goes to step two, step three. Are because in, if I, if I see nine stages, like I can correlate few things. Like yeah, some percentage of something. So what do you suggest? Like how exactly we need to look into this? Mm -hmm. So. It is, it is gradual as one is moving forward. One's faith is increasing. Then one associates more. 
and with that association one is entering more process of bhakti and that also is nourishing the faith like what, what we are doing right now is doing bhajan kriya we are doing bhajan we are glorifying krishna's name form qualities hearing that is intensifying our faith hearing shri prabhupada's words is intensifying our faith in the association of devotees so there is lot of interlinking and in doubts may come sometimes doubts may come and they it's not that uh, one has you know completely crossed the faith mark and then one completely crosses the sadhu sangha mark sadhu sangha goes on throughout and even we hear the story of jard bharat why he fell down because he didn't do sadhu sangha so we have to keep this elements interlinked it's not that okay i have crossed the sadhu sangha level now i just focus on the you know i have taken sadhu sangha for 5 years and uh, i had faith for 1 year so after 1 year i am in the sadhu sangha stage for next 4 years i am in the in the sadhu sangha and then then i just do bhajan kriya ekant ki bhajan solitary bhajan so that's not not how it works in fact all these things are interlinked sadhu sangha is required even the gopis who are the topmost devotees they are also doing sadhu sangha they are always associating with other gopis so it's all interlinked and uh, one has to continuously check and self evaluate recently govardhan eco village launched a very nice course which is basically self evaluation of one's bhakti and in that they have taken reference from i have not heard the entire series it's a series of four lectures i have heard just the first one it's it's uh, not for new people but for those who have been into their journey because the example they said that the mind may doubt sometimes let's say if you take admission in a phd university and they say okay you take the admission but the phd will be given 25 years later so the enthusiasm may slacken and the acharyas do understand that therefore shlovishna chakravarti thakur in madhurya kadampani has given even in those stages for example anartha nivritti which majority of the practicing devotees are in uh they are taking regular association of devotees they do have faith in the guru they do have faith in scriptures they are trying their best they are they are they are doing the required process of chanting reading hearing but the anartha nivritti is quite challenging state and majority of the devotees or uh, practicing devotees are in that stage which is fine at least they are moving forward but that stage you know vishnu chakravarti thakur has divided into multiple aspects so that we can self evaluate also that okay I, my phd will take 25 years pure bhakti will take time but am i moving in the right direction or am i going in the wrong direction that's how those those course is designed to self evaluate especially for those who have been practicing for you know some decades some good number of years because initially the progress is easy to watch we give up the association of the people who are not krishna conscious they give up watching tv mundane stuff that's basic grossly you know detachment from gross things is easier but then the flight takes off but then the flight is in the air and there is no perceptible change but still one has to self evaluate or introspect am i going in the right direction or in the wrong direction and that course is a good way to self evaluate ourselves or introspect in our own krishna conscious journey does that answer your question prabhu yes prabhu nice question okay yes roj this is badra done what everybody thank you so we lost for explaining nicely the the the, the pro, this process is scientific and scientific that it doesn't mean that we pass through the one stage and when we go to next stage we don't we don't care for the previous stage mm-hmm. there are i ask the reason because the bhakti is always continuation and the, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a hill and on the hill to top of the reach of the top of the peak of the hill is going 
to go to top of the hill is the anarth nivritti and then after that anarth nivritti the the nishtha and ruchi and the asakti and the bhava is easy is is is, is i mean easy in a sense not as is not as difficult as the anarth nivritti to reach to the peak up to the anarth to come to the anarth nivritti is is the is the is the, is the is the difficult stage and the people and the devotees who are i mean i myself for uh, for so many years i'm trying but the reasons we fall down from devotional services first is your offenses this is the big one offenses to the holy name offenses to the devotees hmm? many offenses offenses to devotional service then the lack of humility hmm? to become a humble is not easy is not easy to re give respect to others forget it third is lack of good association during the bhakti we think we i join to hari krishna i'm sorry i'm taking so much time but this is important points we are discussing here i join to hari krishna i joined as a nice as a devotee as as a nice and i'm i'm so humble prabhu i'm good prabhu you are this prabhu is good at the kirtan this prabhu is good at chanting shlokas this prabhu is good at giving classes and we are so humble but after a couple of months when i am in the temple i want to give the instructions to others huh? i i become i become like a guru and i want to give instructions to others this is what happens i am become the king that i know everything you know i'm good this i'm good at that this is what happens and then we 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 don't we don't we don't want to associate with other people other devotees i'm good at it i don't want to hear i know huh? and then a uh, and the fourth one is ignorance of ignorance lack of path of devotional service not enough knowledge this knowledge is so vast to complete shila prabhupad 60 books is so many lifetime process to read i am just putting myself in the situation not all of you you know not all of everybody so because that 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 faith ignorance the lack of not enough knowledge why i am doing this service why i am doing this do why i am taking up this process devotional why i am taking up krishna consciousness that has to be there otherwise otherwise because otherwise uh, time will come we will fall i will fall it happens to everybody you know so to maintain it to maintain it what we need what now what are there is a positive also these are negative okay falling down but what are the positive improve sadhana go on performing sadhana go on chanting go on associating with devotees you know and pray pray for the bhakti with a test bhakti is there but when the some test arises in perform, performing devotional service then it's a more ecstasy because it 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 gives closer it gives closer to we have to pray lord is my spiritual master has given this instruction i have to follow it but there will be test for it there will be test in that following that following that instruction isn't it and that's where i have to pray hard to the spiritual master and lord of the spiritual master and krishna please you help me i am an instrument given this service this help and take a risk for krishna sula so, prabhu patu ko risk for krishna to spray and came at the age of 70 you see so 
is <laughs> bhakti is uh, is i mean i'm struggling believe me i don't think i'm not struggling because i might have the i might have the gross desires over but there is subtle desires are there all the time and we need association with the of each other to go on in the bhakti to help each other okay so these are the reason because and this is what is happening with devotees who are 40 years 50 years 60 years in in krishna consciousness movement i'm i'm, I'm not saying 60 years but it's 40 30 35 40 years this is these are the reasons they they these are the reasons they fall down because sometimes question comes in the mind isn't it that this devotee was so advanced so chanted so many years coming to all the morning program and suddenly what happened to him or what happened to her isn't it i have never seen this again and again so these are the reasons lack of humility lack of good association offenses ignorance i am i'm following the morning program but what is the purpose behind it what am i doing the morning program for because each prayer has is prayer has a has a meaning some sardava prayer tulsi varti prayer you know the same day prayer all has a meaning behind it and i have i have to be careful this is i'm this is when i'm talking to all of you i'm preaching myself believe me i'm preaching myself so i'm not here to give instructions to all of you that's not my business but i'm here to share with you that it it is not easy but we go on go on and have a have go on today i had a class and a, and mata ji told me it's a struggle isn't it it's a real it's a struggle but go on but they don't give up just go on continue it and krishna will hear your prayer one day thank you prabhu sorry sorry for taking so much time to you sorry i'm really sorry No, bro. Please don't say sorry. We are so grateful that you are sharing your your um, experiential knowledge. It's not just theoretical knowledge. It's you have decades and decades of experience, and you are sharing with all of us who are like your children. Thank you so much. Any other comments or questions before we stop today's discussion? ग्रंथराज श्रीमद् भागवतम की जय श्री प्रभुपाद की जय श्री प्रहलाद महाराज की जय श्री नारद मुनि की जय पंचाकल्प स्वरूप की जय गुरुदेव सचिदा नाम पावन गुरुदेव वैष्णव की जय थैंक यू हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण